Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to attempt to fix this motherboard or CPU problem. Um, I got this motherboard CPU from a computer that I bought from Craigslist, but unfortunately the motherboard uh, didn't boot or didn't work. Um, I don't know what exactly the problem is. It does have an i7-3770 on here. It came with no RAM. I found a stick of RAM laying around that I had. Um, I don't know if that even works. I don't know if that's a problem. It's not booting. But today I'm going to attempt to fix and try to see what the problem is. And I'm going to show you guys some tips um, you can use to fix your board if you're having problems uh, booting up or just any issues you have. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on what you can do. Now this is stuff that I use. I don't know all the tricks, but this is usually the most common basic things that you can attempt to do to hopefully fix your board or you know figure out what's the problem with your computer anyway so here is the board you already guys saw it is an asus pbc 77 vlk it does have an i7 3770 let's go ahead and see what the the problem is i haven't touched this board since i got it so i did buy some parts today i have them all ready to see if any of them fixes this problem or fixes this uh issue i'm having here um, I'm getting no boots, so I'm just going to keep it basic. I'm just going to have basic necessities for this to boot and show the BIOS. It's motherboard, CPU, cooler, RAM, you know, that's all you need. I'm going to power it on and see what, what we get. All right, so I've plugged in the power supply, motherboard power, CPU power. I plugged in a little speaker. I got my little power button here. Let's go ahead and power this on. I do have it plugged into my monitor right there. I'm going to go ahead and click the power button right now. Oh, let me actually switch the power supply on. All right. We have a green light. It's receiving power. Just, I'm going to hit the power button. Nothing's happening. It's weird. The fan wants to spin, but it's not spinning. I've never had that happen before. That is weird. So we're getting no display pretty much what happened but this time the fan is not spinning when i first tested this out the fan would spin but now it's not i'm gonna power this off all right so i'm having this little problem here i push the power button the cpu fan doesn't want to spin it wants to spin i plugged in this fan and it seems to be spinning a bit and then it powers off i have no idea what's going on okay i'm gonna start off showing you guys maybe some Something you can try to do if this ever happens to you. Power the power supply off. T turn off the switch. I'm going to hold the power button to drain all the power. Green light should go. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to remove the battery here. The CMOS battery. I'm just going to remove that. And then I'm going to hold my power button for like 10 seconds. Just to drain all the capacitors so i'm gonna hold it all right i think that is good enough i'm gonna insert my battery again install that boom turn on the power switch and then i'm gonna turn the button i'm gonna press the button again all right nothing changed at all so what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna remove the heatsink and reseat the cpu and see if that does anything. I'm going to switch off the power supply. I'm going to hold my power button to drain all the power. I'm going to remove this fan. Just going to power. Just, just this one. And then I'm going to pretty much remove the heatsink, uh, remove the CPU, and then reseat it. Sometimes uh, I've seen that uh, if I have a problem booting a computer, booting up a computer all you all i had to do was pretty much remove the cpu like this just remove from the socket and then pretty much put it back in for some reason that sometimes works so far i don't see any bent pins so not shouldn't be a pin problem just install it back in all right i'm gonna try to turn on this board without the cpu cooler only for a few seconds um, to see if, uh, you know, if that changes anything before I install the cooler. Which is on, and let me actually plug in the, the cooler fan, the 
just to see if it spins. I'm gonna put it right here, and I'm gonna power it on. Nothing. Same thing. It wants to spin, but it's not doing it. Um, let's see. What is some other thing we can do? So we've reset the BIOS, basically. Um, let me show you guys how to do it again. Um, basically, I turn off the power switch on the power supply, disconnect the power cable. Just disconnect the power cable. Remove the battery. The battery basically is there to save your BIOS configuration. Uh, whenever your computer is off or it, it no longer has power, it saves your BIOS configuration. So like if you had overclock or any settings saved, the battery's there just to run the BIOS, uh, keep everything saved. Because once you remove it, it's gonna reset everything. So basically what we, when we do this is we re reset the BIOS. So in case there's something like uh, mess, messing up the, the boot, the boot up whoever used this board before had some saved and it's messing up with something else but basically you remove the battery you hold the power button for like 10 seconds basically you're draining all the power um and then that resets the bios you pretty much insert your new battery you don't have to install the battery um you can also boot it up without it i'm going to try that in this one i'm going to plug in my power supply switch it on and then hit the power button. So it looks like we have the same symptom. The fan spins and then it stops. I'm gonna switch that off because it's not actually on the CPU. All right, so I have now a new, not new, but a different power supply. It's a basic one. It has all the connectors I need. I install the original CPU fan, press the power button. And we're gonna see if anything changes. All right, it looks like no changes. The cables were on the fan. No changes at all. Let me actually plug in the CPU fan. There you go. All right, same, 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 same thing. All right, so it's basically the same symptoms. The power supply switch didn't really do anything. I'm gonna power it off. I'm gonna connect the other power supply I originally had, and I'm gonna continue to do some more diagnosis and trying to see if I can fix this okay so I switched to the original power supply all right so now that's basically all the tips you can try to do to see a computer with the parts you already have that's that part I do have uh, a stick of RAM that does work I already tested it um, for this RAM that's installed on this board I have not tested I literally just found that in one of my piles of random stuff and pretty much installed it on this motherboard and I don't know if it worked. But now I do have a, a stick of RAM that I know works. So I'm gonna install that. And I also bought a new CPU for this board because the CPU is cheaper. I spent $5 for a CPU that would work on this board. Let me go ahead and install the stick of RAM. I'm gonna remove this one. And I'm gonna install this one here. This is the one I have, lifetime, four gig, DDR3, 1600. This one for sure works. I did test it on my other board. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And install the new stick. There you go. All right, new stick install. I'm gonna turn on the power switch, power on, nothing. Now let me get the new CPU. Here it is. I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and open it right now. Take the CPU out and install it. All right, so I have my CPU from eBay. The seller pretty much took it off his computer or something and just gave it to me like this. Pretty neat, free thermal paste. JK, this is terrible. Why would someone ship me something like this? Look at that. There's still dust around it. The least it could, the least it could have done is clean it a little bit. But five bucks, not really that big of a deal. I'm gonna remove the old one. The i7 3770. There it goes. And then in goes, oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys what CPU this is. The cheapest on eBay for five bucks, i3-2100. I did check if it if the CPU was supported by this board and it should be supported. 
So let me go ahead and install it. Right there. There you go. That's installed. Let's install the cooler. Power it on if anything changes. I'll be surprised if anything changes. I feel like the board is the one that's bad. I think the board is just toast. But let's find out. Three, two, one, power. Same thing. Even with a new CPU, the fan is not spinning. All right, so it looks like everything I tried did not work for this board. I tried resetting the CMOS, resetting the CPU, new RAM, new CPU, new cooler, different power supply, and this is still happening. If any anyone knows why this happens, I feel like it's power, it's not receiving enough power. If you guys know the fix for this, let me know, and uh, I'll see if I can try. Thank you guys for watching. Unfortunately, I couldn't fix this, so... Oh well. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Bye.